What is up guys, it's Mateos 2020 Politics here, and today we're back for a new video discussing Donald Trump and, oh, I don't even have to say, you guys know what we're talking about, it's his COVID-19 diagnosis. So, in case if you haven't been watching the news for the past week or so, on October 2nd, Donald Trump tested positive, he and his wife. Now that was after an advisor, I believe, Hope Hicks, tested positive, and afterwards, uh, an entire string of people have tested positive but as as of now it's 29 people i believe it, it, that includes multiple crew members secret service agents um so i'm this video is probably going to be outdated <laughs> by the time it comes out there will most likely be another covid-19 case within his circle now three senators gop senators on the judiciary committee all tested positive. Now, what does this mean? This means that the Amy Coney Barrett meetings have been delayed. You know, that you can't vote if you have COVID-19 because you can give it to the other senators. And since they're all in their 60s and 70s, it isn't exactly the safest bet to go there with COVID-19 for a vote. So that's, you know, the one good outcome of this, that the Amy Coney Barrett meetings will be delayed. Now, I know what I'm saying here might sound borderline opportunistic not not from my perspective but the fact that i'm saying yes now that three senators have the covid19 virus the meetings can be delayed no i don't mean it like that i'm just saying the meeting shouldn't have happened in the first place because the senators all pledged last election year that there would be no vote for a supreme court during an election year so the meeting should be happening in the first place right let's just get that straight so yesterday there was a video that went viral where donald trump returned from the hospital and took his face mask off. But what really caught my eye was the fact that he really didn't seem to be doing well. Like, he really seemed sick, you know? So, I will show you an eight-second video, and then we'll be back to discuss. Man, that does not look good, does it? That really does not look good. It was... Like, you could tell he was trying to hide it. You can tell that he was going like this. <laughs> you can tell that's what happened. You know, he saw the camera and, you know, he tried to act off. It's really not looking good for him. Especially considering the fact that he's 74 years old, overweight, and working as the president of the United States. Which, which most likely means he's stressed out every day. And probably taking some drugs just to keep him pumping. I'm pretty sure nearly every president took drugs. But nevertheless, this guy is 74 years old. He's probably working in you know in the most stressful job in the world. And he's overweight. So this is really not good for him. Especially considering the fact that COVID-19's uh, threat increases as you age. So this really is not looking good for him. Now, he was originally reporting mild symptoms. Then he got sent to the hospital, severe symptoms, and then he, ca he came back, although he's only been there for a few days. I don't know why he would have to return, especially when he's in this shape where he can barely breathe. And it looks like he is straight up having pain. It looks like he's, it looks like he's straight up is in pain, like it hurts to breathe. That's how bad he is. He, that is not looking good for him, right? But, of course, he's going to have to do the whole dramatic... <sighs> of course he has to do that. He's obsessed with looking like the macho alpha male guy. You know, he's he doesn't like looking weak. That's what his uh, former friends have said in documentaries about him. They say that he his weakness is that he doesn't like to look weak. He wants to always look tough. And it's understandable. This guy clearly is a grandiose narcissist. So, of course, he's going to be concerned with constantly looking like the tough guy and having to stand up to the people going against him. In this case, that's masks, which is just, you know, science, basically. He's fighting science. But nevertheless, yeah, he's going to want to, with his mindset, be looking all macho and tough. He probably thinks that wearing a mask makes him look weak. But it really matters uh, on whether he cares about looking strong or intelligent. Because, sure, when you wear a mask, yeah, you look a bit, you know, less assertive and all. But you also look a bit more intelligent than, let's say, somebody who refuses to wear one. So it doesn't do him much of a favor. It makes him look tough, but it also makes him look, you know, misinformed. He wants us to see his face. He wants us to see he's doing well. 
and is doing, you know, he's stronger than ever. He's stronger than he's been the past 20 years. That's what he wants us to think. That's what he wants us to think. He doesn't want to look weak. He doesn't want to show us that he's uh, having trouble breathing, which would make me wonder why he even left the hospital in the first place. Like, if, if you're having trouble breathing and you're concerned with looking tough, why leave the hospital? Your cam the cameras are going to see you. <laughs> now, I'm not going to just stand here and be partisan hack and call Don Trump an idiot because I think he's actually a uh, interesting character. Like, he's a, he's pretty complex as a person. It's not that he's an idiot. It, it's just that he is afraid of looking weak. He always wants to look tough. And he views the mask as being a symbol of oppression. He sees the mask as threatening his own ego. He wants to look strong, and he believes wearing a mask makes him look owned, like he's property. That, that's his mindset. But nevertheless, man, it just shows how bad his narcissism is because it's, it, it just it takes over his lifestyle. He can't just wear a mask. And as a result, he's gotten at least a dozen people infected. I mean, you had a bunch of senators meeting with Amy Coney Barrett, um, getting really close from talking within a foot. And of course they got infected, right? Now, Donald Trump has been refusing to wear a mask. Look what happened to him. Now, do I want him to die? No, of course not. I'm, I'm sure some liberals do, but I don't want him to die. I just want him to get really, really sick. Really, really sick. Um, so Because I'm thinking that due to how selfish he is, how much of disregard he has for others, that if he personally is affected by the virus, that's the key word, personally, if he's personally affected by the virus, that might make him realize that it's the real deal. It would have to affect him for him to actually realize it's severe. So, now early on there was this theory that Donald Trump was just faking his COVID-19 diagnosis. I'm not saying that he literally like got COVID-19 on purpose, but I'm saying he lied to American people. That's the theory. I'm not backing it. That was the theory early on. And his goal would be to gain sympathy from voters and skip the next debates. And I could see that as a theory because at the time he tested positive, the next debate was just 13 days away. It's, I believe, on October 14th or something. So it would be perfect timing. Nevertheless, I only believe things have evidence backing it up, so I never really bought into that theory. But now that we see Donald Trump looking, you know, weak, he's just not doing well. Um, physical health wise right now that we see he isn't doing well I I think people are beginning to doubt that it's all faked because if it were faked he would try to probably downplay the virus and say oh no I don't have it I don't have the virus I'm strong I'm okay I'm doing fantastically this is awesome better than the last 20 years I'm feeling better than the last 20 years combined yeah nevertheless um my point is that had he faked the diagnosis, I feel like he would probably not want to look weak in front of the public. That's just not something he'd be willing to do. So I think this is genuine. And it's kind of embarrassing that of all people, the president of the United States got COVID-19. This person is supposed to be the most protected in all of America. He's supposed to have the highest security and he still got the virus because he chose to be ignorant. Now, to be honest, I felt kind of bad for Donald Trump in that video. You know, I felt kind of bad for him. Must be painful to be in that experience but nevertheless is he going to learn his lesson probably not or maybe you know maybe he's going to realize that because the virus affected him it can affect other people as well maybe he can put himself in those people's shoes so uh thank you for watching this video guys i'll see you soon and bye oh by the way before i go there is a vice presidential debate between kamala harris and mike pence tomorrow night so don't forget to tune into that